Hey, Dai. Um, I'm coming at you with a late vlog. But uh, it's the day 12 of Vlogmas. So happy day 12. Happy Thursday. And in this vlog, I think I'm going to uh, dip you dive my prediction of the NFL football game that I did this weekend. I actually thought it tonight. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do because I did nothing all day. Which was good. I needed just to lay I, yeah. It, it all, it all takes to have a lazy day and do nothing. That's really what it is. Like, take time for yourself. That's really what matters. So, before I get into the whole NFL Week 15 schedule madness for this weekend, let me do a little outward. Um, so, if you're new to this channel, or you haven't done this already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that bell notification because you do not want to miss any upcoming announcement or content have coming your way. Because I, I'm already thinking, and I, I'm thinking I'm going to do a thing a little bit different with my channel starting 2020. So stay tuned. Um, some of you guys can comment down below and take some of your adapted on how it's going to be different. But just know. Turn on that bell notification because you do not want to miss any announcement, anything that is coming your way in 2020. So stay tuned. Um, and with that being said, give the video a big thumb up if you're excited for week 15 NFL action. We did it to be a good week. Um, it's getting down to the wires, getting down to playoff beginning soon. And yeah, so let's get right into this. So, with, um, starting right now, in, at 8.20 p.m., we got um, the New York Chat versus the Boston Raven on prime time on Thursday night, which is today. And let me just tell you this. I don't think New York Chat can pull off an upset against the Boston Raven. I Buffalo and the 49ers barely lost to them are the only two teams that barely lost to them and New York Shed is not that good and then 49 or the Bills so I'm thinking this is going to be a tough matchup for New York Shed to pull off an update so I think I'm automatically going to give Baltimore a win um, but let's hope for an update but I don't think New York Shed can do it then we head into Sunday matchup, and we're gonna start out with one o'clock matchup between the Chicago Bills and the Green Bay Panthers. Now this game is gonna be so good because it's a rivalry matchup. These teams are so much of a rivalry, it's not even funny. It's kind of like, on the, in my division, it's kind of like the Patriots versus the Buffalo Bills. That Master right there is so much of a rivalry, just like the Chicago Bear and Green Bay Pack. Um, I feel like anything can happen in the game. Anyone, any of these teams can show up. But if I had to pick one person, I don't know. I I like what the Green Bay Pack are doing, but also Chicago Bear are staying up on there, like. If you look at the highlight of the Tyler Bill game, they are doing pretty well. So this is going to be a big matchup between two rivalry teams. So I'm going to, I don't know, I honestly have no idea. This is going to come down to the wild. Then we got the Patriot versus the Bandos. Now Patriot is coming off a loss, the second loss in a row. They lost twice in a row. But the sad thing is, they're playing the Bengals. The Bengals are 1 and 14. But the Patriots have no offense. They literally have no offense. Um, like, I, again, just like the Thursday night game, I would watch the Bengals do an upset, and then 
to pay for it. But I just don't see that happening because they're going up against the Bandos, and the Bandos are not doing that good. They're not finishing their game. So, I, I think we all know he's gonna clearly win this one, but I'm hoping some magical pixie dust fall into the Bando hand and they make completely do an upset and shot the war this week and then beat the Patriots. That's what I'm hoping. That is what I want, that's what I'm hoping. Please send that magical pixie dust to Cincinnati just one day, just one day. Let them be let them be two and fourteen. And then the next game we got is the Seattle Seahawks up against the Panthers. Now this is gonna be a tough game. This is gonna be a hard fought game, but in the end of uh, fourth order, I think Seattle Seahawks is gonna be on top by a touchdown. But it's gonna be a hard fought fight between both of these teams. Then we got the shooting test in and the um, t Tennessee Titans. Now, both of these teams are in the hunt of playoff right now. And actually, one of them is not in the hunt. One of them is in the in in, in full place in the division, and which is the Texans. But the Texans are struggling right now, even though they'll. Um, but they did beat the Patriots. But then they lost last week to the Denver Broncos. So they're like up and down, up and down. They're like... So, I don't know. In my opinion, I kinda want the Tennessee Titans to win. But also, I kinda want the Chiefs and Texans to win because then... If Buffalo win this weekend, we will get to that game later. Um, we will most likely be playing the Chiefs and Texans and we can probably win the first round of playoff with them. So that I kinda want Chiefs and Texans to win. But we also need to beat the Tennessee Titans because we played them in October and we beat them. So we can still beat them too. So either way. Then we head into the Miami Dolphins versus the New York Giants. Um I think it's gonna be a really good matchup. Eli is probably going to be starting quarterback because Daniel Jones is out and injured. So I'm pretty sure the Giants can come out with a win here. I think they can pull off a win. Then we got the Eagles versus the Washington. Now this is going to be a good matchup. Um, only because... Like, some people are going to pick Eagles to win. But I, I feel like it's going to be a lot harder for them to win. Um, but I think they can win if they play squad enough like they've been in the past, but they're, they're going up and down with that. They're, and, but like the Washington's no better. They're doing the same thing. So it's going to be a hard fought game between both of those teams. Then we got the Broncos versus the Chiefs last half of my home. Now I kind of want... Um, I tell him I pass him home to win because he's on my fantasy team. But also, to help the Buffalo out, I kind of want Denver Broncos to win. If that makes sense. But I also want pass him home to win because he's on my fantasy team. So, there's a pretty line right there. But in reality, I, I don't know. Denver beat the Chiefs and Texans last week, so they're coming off a win. So it's Candace City, they're coming off a win last week too. So, and actually Candace City's coming off a big win last week because they played Patriots. So, this is the real way. It's gonna be a hard fought game. Like, literally, I'm telling you that right now before I do any farther, a lot of these games this week, it's gonna be a good, hard fought game. No question about it. That's what they are. Then we go into Tampa Bay versus the Detroit Lions. Now I think Lions gonna defeat the Tampa Bay, but Tampa Bay tend to pull out a W if they play good enough. Then we go to the Arizona Cardinals who the Steelers won last week, 
and not doing that great. And then I went up and then to Brown. I think I'm gonna say it right here on camera for you guys. I think the Browns gonna beat the area on the Tottenham entire movie. It's gonna be a hard fought game, it's gonna probably be a close game, but I think the Browns will pull out a pull out of a win. Then we got the Shad Wire but the Oakland Raiders. Now people might say Oakland Raiders gonna win. But you know what? In art in reality, I think I want the um, Jazz to do an upset against the Oakland Raiders. Because the Oakland Raiders is the other team that's in the hunt right now. So it's, if Oakland Raiders lose, that's gonna hurt their playoff. Getting into playoff. But Jazz not doing that good. But if but it doesn't matter how good you do, you can still come out and win. Let me go with this Viking vs. the Chargers. I think I'm gonna go with the Viking here. Just because the Chargers are going up and down and then they're just all over the place. They're not staying consistent. They're not winning many games this year. So I'm thinking Viking's gonna pull the W off. Let me got the Ram but the Cowboys. Now here I think, um, I kind of want to go with the, uh, the Ram and make the Cowboy lose a den because they lost last week. But it's going to be a good spot game between both of these teams. But I think I'm going to go with the Ram. Then we got the Falcon but the 49ers. Clear shot, I think 49ers got this in the bad. Then, Sunday night, prime time, the first Buffalo Bills Sunday night game in like 20 in like 25 26 years they're going up against Pittsburgh Steelers and I think right here I think this is going to be a good matchup because you know why Buffalo never lost two in a row like we lost last week we barely lost last week and that's a good NFL Team, but the back in the lead right now. We barely lost to them. And every single time Buffalo lost this season, we never had lost two in a row. That's a time. And another reason is we're Buffalo traveling to Pittsburgh this weekend. And Buffalo is 5 and 1 on the road. So that's another good time. And Buffalo are really pissed off right now because people are just talking so much crap about them. It's not even funny. Like, the 49ers lost to the Baltimore Ravens the week before Baltimore and Bale matchup. And 49ers barely lost to the, the Ravens, just like Buffalo. But they're still saying 49ers is the better team. Like the testing top best team. And then Buffalo is doing phenomenal this year. And we played a really hard fought game last year. We last week. And it came down to the wire. We could have tied that game with no in the overtime. But they're saying that Buffalo is horrible and they do blah 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 all this crap. Ridiculous. Like, no one have faith in Buffalo. Doesn't matter how good of a season we have, no one have faith in them. It's sad. It's not an end. And they're saying, oh, Josh Allen, a horrible QB. Yo, I want you all to go out there on the field and you play a good defense and see how you like it. I guarantee many of you can't do the same thing he did. He would do better than you. And then the other storyline this week is they're talking about Devin Hodge, which is a fourth wing quarterback for Pittsburgh Steelers, who is the starting quarterback in the Big Ben and Hulk, and Mason Rudolph and Hulk. And they're saying that Devin Hodge, a fourth wing quarterback, is better than John Allen. Like, are you kidding me? That makes me angry, that makes me piss off. Like, right there, I just want to take on this primetime game and show America 
she says, shut up. They said they have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, the dealer have the defense, but though they're Buffalo, and both of our offense are horrible. Dealer offense, no better. If you if you compare the dealer with this Buffalo, they both have their defense. They got a major defense. It's gonna be a defensive game. But then when you compare the offense, I lean more towards uh, Buffalo offense that we got a better experienced quarterback. They have a fourth green quarterback. Unclafted even. And yeah, he's probably four and one than he started. But the thing is, they haven't really played anybody good. So that fourth green quarterback played it than team that are not doing that good this season. So you can't stay. It's just it driving me insane. Like, come on. You just have no idea what you're talking about. And then the last game on Monday night is between the New Orleans Saints versus the Indianapolis Toast. And I feel like the Saints gonna win this one. By far. It's gonna be a good game, but I think the Saints gonna come out on top in the fourth quarter. So that is all the action for week 15 of the NFL. And to come down with that, I think we have a, I think it's gonna be a good week. A lot of physical matchup, like Buffalo Bulls Steelers. It's gonna be a physical matchup. And with that being said, I feel like it's gonna be a good game. And I want Buffalo to win. We said we would think playoff if we win. But not only that, I want to shut America up. We said all this crap talk about Buffalo is ridiculous. Like they didn't do it when 49 er lost to the Raven. Like come on. Pick your battle. But don't crap talk about a team because they have been doing horrible the past 15 years. But then they want the first season they've been doing amazing in 15 years. And then we played a really good team last week. We, we lost by a touchdown. One going to fly. We almost tied it. And all of a sudden you're saying that Buffalo is crap. Well, the 49ers played that same team a week before. Barely lost two, like they lost two by like a field goal or like a touchdown and you're saying that 49 is still good but the ba- Buffalo a week later play that same team and you're saying they're flat and Josh Allen is horrible but you know what I want Buffalo to win this week I want the main admin to be winner than the two brothers because I want to show America that we're not flat we're the real deal we have one of the best talk shows and one of the best organizations in the NFL as of a year ago. We're on the white flag. You better watch out, America. And if you still can't handle what Buffalo is doing, then you're just jealous. You are just so jealous. So just watch out. Alright, dog. With that being said, I'm going to end the video. But before I end the video, I'm gonna show you where Nova ended up this morning. Um, I think he just died. Uh, I will show you. But, yeah, just think about that. I know many of us are thinking about that. Sitting on a 1951 tour vet. And I told you, it looked like a dime because I really want this old fashioned car in my garage. Like I won't drive it unless it's like a beautiful day, but I, I want this car so bad. 1951. So I'm, I'm wondering if Snowball knows something and knows that I'm going to be sending this car in the next couple of years. But like, look at that. I don't know. I. What do you guys think? Comment down below. This is Stein. 
the different signs and why she got why she wanted it. She tends to for driving it. Mr. Lonsley, I think that's a sign. Mr. So why why else would she pick that one? There was a red Mercedes right next to it. But she picked that one. Like the to elf. Did they know something that I don't know? Or what? But yeah, so again, happy day 12 of Broadway. And happy Thursday. And happy start of the football action for week 15. And I will see you tomorrow. But before we go, remember, find your magic moment. You are worth it. Believe in yourself and stay true to yourself. And be happy. Make sure you're happy. And with the, excuse me. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow on day 13 of Vlogman. Bye!